In this line, the M is the midpoint between A and B and the coordinates of A, X1, Y1, B, X2, Y2, then the coordinates of M will be X and Y. And this very simple way to write the formula, X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. This is the midpoint formula. There is also a other way to write the midpoint formula is X is equals to X1 plus X2 divided by 2 and y is equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. As you have seen, the formula of midpoint is how we can use and which types, how many types we can write the formula of midpoint. So now we apply here as an application here. So first of all, uh, you can see this we're having about seven questions in 7.2 about the midpoint perfect use of midpoint formula so find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining the following points like i'm just doing the part a the part a is 4 2 and 6 9 as you've seen the midpoint formula you can write this way like x1 plus x2 divided by 2 or y1 plus y2 and divided by 2 so 4 plus 6 4 plus 6 divided by 2 and 5 plus 9 divided by 2. So this is the way you can write and get the answer. This is 6 plus 4 is 10 upon 2 is 5 and 9 plus 5 is 14 and upon 2 is 7. So we have done the midpoint and you can write the coordinates here. There is no problem. So this is the way just we can find the midpoint. Second question, question number two, I'm just, uh, I know this is a very simple topic, but at least we have to cover all the things. Question number two, M is the midpoint of the line joining this and this, find the value of P and Q. For this, I have told you we are having two ways to write the midpoint formula. X is equals to X1 plus X2 divided by two and y equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So where x and this x and y are the midpoints. Actually, the question is like this. Point A, point B. B is uh, P and Q. Uh, A is minus 3 and 7. And midpoint is here. And midpoint is x comma y. So x is equals to like this. So now I have to apply the formula here. Uh, put the value x is equals to minus 3 plus p divided by 2. So what's the midpoint? Midpoint is 3. So I'm just writing here this is 3 comma 5. So x will be 3. Then you can find the value and 3 times 2 is 6 equals to minus 3 plus p and p is coming what? 9. Then if you want to find the value of Q, like so this formula you can use as the value of midpoint Y is 5 is equals to Y1 plus Y2 means 7 plus Q divided by 2. 5 times 2 is 10 minus 7 is Q and Q is coming 3. So this is the way we can do. This is a very simple way to do question 1 and 2. Okay, moving to question number 3. In question number three, you can see the coordinates of the midpoints of the line, this and this are this. This is the same question, like here, uh, five is equals to P squared plus Q squared divided by two with X. And with Y, you can write one is equals to P plus Q divided by two. Actually, we are having here what the simultaneous equations. So please work on it. But this is the way this we can find like this. So you can just put the value P from here and put the value here, like uh, P is equals to two minus Q and put this value here and you can use like this will be like a quadratic equation and you can simplify. Because I, I want to save my time uh, for, uh, especially for you actually. The so question number four is three point, uh, three points has a coordinate this, this and this, given that D and E are the midpoints of A, B and A, C. So in this means, when you want to find, like D is the midpoint of AB. So A is, D is the midpoint of AB means you can uh, do like this. D is a midpoint. And D 
uh, a is minus 1 6 and b is 3 and 2 and second thing is given e is the midpoint of a and c okay a and c and this midpoint is e so a is minus 1 6 and c is minus 5 and minus 4 so you can find the midpoint what's the midpoint you can do it directly no problem 3 minus 1 i mean when plus is coming 2 2 upon 2 is 1 and 6 plus 2 is 8 upon 2 is 4 so we got the answer d d is coming what d is coming 1 and 4 now talking to this e part minus 5 and minus 1 is minus 6 minus 6 upon 2 is minus 3 and minus 4 and minus 6 when we add this coming 2 2 upon 1 2 is 1 so e is coming minus 3 and 1 so we got the midpoint like d and e now calculate the midpoint of d and e okay i mean just now what we have to do d and e we have to find the midpoint and the midpoint you can use both the values and for like there is no problem in a part you can do uh, 1 minus 3 upon 2 comma 4 plus 1 upon 2 and this coming minus 2 upon 2 is minus 1 and this 5 upon 2 is 2.5 you can write or 2 whole 1 upon 2 so length of length of de means you have to use a distance formula and x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we had so lengthy questions okay uh, you can do it now question number five <coughs> In question number five, we have three of the vertices of the parallelogram. Okay, when we think about the shape of the parallelogram, like I can show you here. Okay, uh, this is A, B, we cannot write C, okay, B and D. A is 9, 3. Parallelogram is like a, uh, we have. We had this type of question in the exam, but uh, we should know the properties of parallelogram, how we can use in coordinate geometry. And D is not given. Write down the coordinates of the midpoint of AC and hence otherwise find the coordinates of D. D, I can suppose P and Q, okay? <clears throat> this is A part. Well, actually, what uh, when we uh, uh, think about the uh, parallelogram, when we join the like diagonals 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 of the parallelogram this means when we have the diagonals diagonals always have the common midpoint like uh, the midpoint of ac is same as the midpoint of bd so this is very important property we have to use your midpoint not the distance length of the diagonals are not same only the midpoint so it means that's why they have given us let's find the midpoint of ac ac midpoint is what you can see the midpoint of ac is coming 9 plus 8 9 plus 8 upon 2 and 3 plus 6 upon 2 so your midpoint of ac is coming 9 plus 8 17 upon 2 and this is coming 9 upon 2. So midpoint is coming. The this midpoint is the midpoint of all uh, BD also, right? So now if you want to find the mid, like this midpoint is given and uh, finding the coordinates of D, what do you have to do? You have to use this example here. Like D is here, midpoint is here, and B is here. B is minus 2 and 1. This is P and Q. And the midpoint is here. So use this formula x is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This way this x is 17 upon 2 and x1 is p and x2 is minus 2. So this will become minus 2 upon 2 and then you can do calculation this 2 and 2 cancel out. So p will be coming about minus is coming 19 then if you're talking about q uh by this 9 upon 2 9 upon 2 is equals to y1 is q plus 1 upon 2 this 2 and 2 cancel out because it's normal working and q will be coming 9 minus 1 is 8 and that's we have done 
uh, part B between prove that A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Okay. Actually, uh, when we're talking about the rhombus, rhombus is also a parallelogram of equal sides. Like this, this three, four sides are equal. The diagonals are not same. Diagonals are always like uh, the sides of the diagonals will not be same, but all the sides of the rhombus will be same. So what do you have to do in B part? You have to find A, B. Then you have to find B, C. And when you find A, B and B, C, that's enough because A, B and B, C, if A, B and B, C are same, it means opposite sides are also same. So just do one thing or if you want to do like all will be same actually. And C, D and A, D all will be same, but you have to do only these two parts are enough. Next question. Question number six. If A, B, C and D are the vertices of parallelogram, tell me the value of P and R. This question is the same question like what we have to do, like when we draw the parallelogram, the parallelogram have the common midpoint. This is like we have to use a common midpoint formula. A is 2, 0, B is P and minus 2, C is minus 1 and 1. From A and C, you can get the midpoint and D is 3 and R. So use the same method, just using the, the midpoint method, just the midpoint in the parallelograms of the diagonals are common. So use the same like question number five. Okay, I'm moving to question number, the last question number seven, just uh, uh, going to discuss. This is also very simple. Uh, find uh, four points have the coordinates, this, this, and this. Show that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Uh, for the parallelogram, the property, like uh, I've told you, this we use frequent uh, properties of this parallelogram. Uh, the diagonals are not equal. The length of the diagonals are not equal. But what uh, this, the they have the common midpoint. So you can show, first of all, the common midpoint and opposite sides are also equal, is up to you. And the Kelvin length of AC and BD is ABC is a rectangle. Okay. Actually, when I draw some figure, I just want to show, uh, because as we are ending this uh, topic, this is rhombus I want to draw, and then I have to draw a rectangle. Then I have to draw a square. What is the difference between these all? When I draw the diagonals, like diagonals here, and the diagonal here. Okay, I'm just writing in short. Here, like diagonals are uh, not equal in size. Here, the diagonals are not equal in size, but one thing, the diagonals are perpendicular. Perpendicular means when we uh, use a gradient that you will learn, I mean, in other top, other chapter, I mean, in other exercise, when you start the gradient concept, this is always 90 degree. That's a very important. Okay, when we are moving to this part, when we draw the diagonals here, diagonals are equal in size. Diagonals are not equal in size. I mean, these two diagonals are not equal. But here, diagonals are equal in size. That's the difference between. Okay. Here, what? When you do it, the diagonals are also equal in size. Here, not equal and also is 90 degree. So, this is the difference between the parallelogram and rhombus and rectangle. So, what uh, is A, B, C, D is a rectangle. So, what do you have to do? You have to find the length of the diagonal A, B, C, and D. What you have to do, A, B, uh, A, C, length of A, C should be equal to what? Length of B, D. And when you find when they are equal, the length of the diagonals are equal, it means it's not a parallelogram, it's a, a rectangle. If you think this video is useful for you, please like my video, comment, and subscribe my channel. And please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can receive my new videos. And please share with your friends, so with your juniors, that's I have started. Advanced and mass videos. Thank you so much and have a nice day.